Hi, welcome back. I'm still working on the axle event. This is Vision 12, and I'm still listening to the King of Hearts podcast. Uh, this will be right where I left off in the last video. Uh, all right, let's see how this goes. Your heart. This is our three Futaba questions. This is how we're going to oh, understand God, your weak points. <laughs> okay. So, first question. What was your first Kingdom Hearts game? Kingdom Hearts 1, because I'm not a crazy person who Yay! doesn't want the story at a random moment. Thank God. <laughs> oh my gosh, my favorite. High fives. All Yay. I played Kingdom Hearts 1 when I was 14, and so Sora was also 14. Thank and I was like, wow, we're the same. And then I played Kingdom Hearts 2 when I was 15, and Sora was 15. And I was Aww. like, wow, we're the same. And now I'm 26, and he's 16. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm sad because I do get older. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Time goes by so slowly. <laughs> so sad. Uh. All right. So that's that's the first diagnostic question. So so we we have we have now determined you are a sane human being. Now. Yeah. Uh, yes. Or at least you yeah, have go the, home. You have the foundations of a sane human being. The next question. Oh, yeah will determine if you are still sane. Uh, what is yeah. your favorite Kingdom Hearts game? Oh, here Kingdom we go. Hearts 2, duh. Oh. oh. Yeah. Whoa, what? Guys, Do you guys yeah. not agree? No. Whoa. Uh, for me, yeah, Kingdom Hearts 2 is the best. For me, Kingdom Hearts 2 ranks number 2. Oh, after Same the first here. One. After the first one. So, uh, so. No, we, they fixed so we, much in the second one. Yes. Guys. Yes. I totally, I totally agree. For uh, something that we've come to understand about Kingdom Hearts fans, or I, I guess this applies to a lot of media, people go into media wanting different things. Like they had different needs that they need met, different itches that need to be scratched. Uh, for me personally. That tends to fall into the story department. I personally prefer the uh, more straightforward plot of Kingdom Hearts 1 and the fact that it is kind of fully encapsulated, doesn't require any prior knowledge. You know, it, it does end on a little bit of a cliffhanger, but you can sort of like just take it as it is. So I appreciate that element of it. Also, Ansem's played by Billy Zane in Kingdom Hearts 1, and therefore, oh objectively, it's very good. <laughs> you you, you welcome to our podcast halfway in. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, had to include it somewhere. I had to okay. throw it. I agree that the plot is less convoluted than the first one. Okay. Yes. Yeah. But sometimes a uh, more convoluted plot is more fun. I don't know. Also, That's I like fair. that Sora's a little older That's and cool. all, they go to all the world and all the princesses and princes are falling in love and Donald Goose are like, haha, I bet you're thinking of Kyrie. And he's like, no, I'm not. <laughs> and it's so cute the that whole is cute. time. That is yeah. cute. But. This this uh, this this game you love so much also contains Port yeah. Royal and Pirates of the Caribbean. That's true. I I was very angry as a child playing in Port Royal, yeah. especially because like the brightness on I don't know if it was my TV, yeah. but like it was crazy. I like couldn't see anything. It was the worst. Yeah. And oh. I also like did I, I had anger towards the Nightmare Before Christmas world too for the same reason. Mm. It was just like too dark. But they fixed that with, like, the real releases thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, Definitely. I mean, it still looks dumb. And Will Turner's like, oh, I'm threatening to shoot myself with no gun. And I'm uh, like, oh, awkward. Well, that's not, <laughs> that's not Port Royal's fault. That's the ESRB's ah, fault. Ah, crap. Yeah. 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 I mean, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to pause the video and redo my uh, Keyblade. Hold on. Alright, I swept that Winnie the Pooh. I have a double cast on him, so it should work now. But, there's, yeah, there's, there's a I, lot I of like, sad censorship in Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh. Yeah, but I also really like the battle like system in Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh, I absolutely. love the reaction Bar commands. It's the best. And it's For just. Strangle it's, to win. It's so fun. Yeah, definitely. All right, I, I definitely agree with you on, on, on that front. Oh, okay, how, Kingdom did, Hearts, how, how did how Kingdom did you, Hearts one is a close second? Okay, that's fair. How did you feel yeah. about 
the Tron level, because that's also live action How? based. It is, but weirdly, it like works better. I yeah, don't know yeah, why. Yeah. I, I, yeah, it's definitely a lot more stylized and like. Oh. Tron I'd in also, and of itself, the original was like it had a lot of CG in it anyway, so. It, yeah. It's less the offensive. one that I'm, the one that I'm thinking works better is the one in Kingdom Hearts Two. The one in Dream Drop Distance looks. <laughs> So stupid. Uh, so bad. Oh, because that was Tron Legacy, too. Yeah. yeah. And why is Sora, like, so small? He's, like, almost a grown man at this point. Why is he half the size of everybody? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So, God. So, if, if, that if, made, that if level you ever made get to see a life-size uh, Sora statue, it's it, it's really sad how short she is. <laughs> you, why even, is he so small? Even his Kingdom Hearts 2 form, like... Like, I, I, we, we crunched the numbers, and we worked them out to being, like, probably below five feet. Like, that's no. that's, that's how short he actually is. It's like, they're like, no. digit. what do they that's feed you on Destiny Islands? Like, I'm, do you even eat? I'm very upset by this. <laughs> yeah. Like, like I, I guess, like, the, the big clue was the Pirates of the Caribbean level, because you can, like, literally just Google and find out how tall Johnny Depp is and compare. And, <laughs> Yep, Sora's pretty short. Like, like really, I don't, really short. Okay, to be fair, he hibernated for like a year. Maybe he just don't grow, okay? <laughs> like, just let it happen. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he didn't grow. <laughs> I guess if you just grow up eating pow poo fruits, you know, all you like get. Salt water. <laughs> all, all you injury. <laughs> eating eating pow poo fruits and drinking salt Eagle water, egg. all you get is. No growth, just the runs. No, no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. In my fan fiction, I make him a normal, like, tall. I mean, I guess it's not normal, but I make him tall. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's, that's good. So, tall, so. Tall, 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 dark, handsome. Maybe, yeah, maybe exactly. just. It, it's not that he's short, it's just the rest of the other worlds are just abnormally large. They are. They're just, like, weirdly tall on all these worlds. Yeah. <laughs> On oh, my world, this is normal. <laughs> look at, look at uh, when, he, when he talks to Judge Bruno in Big Hot Distance, he's just like uh, yeah. towering over Sora. Yeah. yeah. Though, in Dream Drop Distance, he's technically supposed to be younger again, so I can That's kind fair. of be like, alright, he shrunk back to his other side. But, come on. Yes, he's still small. He's gotta grow. Yeah. I'm hoping in Kingdom Hearts 3, he's taller. <laughs> Yeah, we can only hope. Oh, oh, uh, I, he, actually, I think he is. I think he's finally taller than Goofy now, which Yay! that's, that's Yay. progress. That's progress. Goofy ain't that good. tall either, but like, at least he's not the short one in the group anymore. All right, that's so also, I, that's also weird because I always thought of Goofy as like a tall. Yeah, man. he's big. Like I thought he'd be taller. Uh, than, like when you go to Disneyland, he's like, quite tall. Yeah. So. Well, there's, there is a grown man inside him. Well, yeah. yeah, but he's extra tall. Yeah, he, he, he definitely seems like he would be, but it, I yeah. guess in Kingdom Hearts it's just, he is, compared to Sora, chuckle, chuckle. <laughs> One of those. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so, for our final diagnostic question of, of your sanity, uh, yeah. what is your least favorite Kingdom Hearts game? Alright, this one's harder than the others. <laughs> it is tough. Um, I, I think I have to go with Coded. Okay, yes. That, that, is, that, is, a, that, that is objectively wow. the correct that an answer. Acceptable you are now answer. You're a sane human being. You've got the Kingdom Hearts seal of approval. Safe, I mean, okay, safe my, for consumption. My, my least favorite part of Coded, where I was like, this game's dumb, was, okay, so Mickey, like, Heartless come in, right? And he's yep. like, oh no, I better summon my Keyblade and like get get rid of them. And this is like at the beginning of, towards the beginning of the game, like within the first half hour, I think. So he gets rid of the Heartless, and then the door closes or something, and he runs to the door, literally having just used his giant key that he has at all times. Yep. And he dismisses the key, and he goes to the door and kind of like bangs on it and pulls on it, and is like, it's locked! Oh, <laughs> like, no! If only I had a master key that literally opens everything... <laughs> Yeah, oh, if only you were, you were, like, just using a giant key that could unlock any door in existence. Hmm, just too bad that you don't have that. And it's just, oh, that was dumb. Yeah. Just, which, is, which is funny, because an unchained key, when you're about to use your keyblade, open the door, Charity stops you from using it. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> yeah. It's too powerful. Oh, my God. 
Also, I don't know why he didn't just, like, call up the real Sora and be like, yo, there's, like, some information that you should probably also know. And I'm not gonna just write it all down and send it in a letter to you when you could just come here and experience it yourself. Yeah. That makes more sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the whole game but, but made the game, me annoyed. They had to give Vicky something to do. Yeah. I know. I mean, I did get invested in the game by the end of it, but I was still like, this, this is the dumbest one. Yeah. <laughs> so, the... The sad thing that you can say, I guess the saddest thing you could say about a Kingdom Hearts game is you don't need to play this, and from a story perspective, that pretty much is the case for Recoded. You can argue yeah. that, yeah, you should probably watch the secret ending, because it kind of like ties ties up how Sora finds out that he's got to go to the Mysterious Tower for Dream Drop Distance, but that, yeah. that's about that it. One... <laughs> That game. one scene is like, I got to the last scene and I was like, oh, okay, I guess this game was important after all. Yeah, thanks. That's just one thanks, important thanks, thing. Thanks, thanks for these three minutes. Yeah. Did they, did they try to make it more relevant in uh, 1.5? Yeah, so they, they, they added, added in, When they added in that secret scene. Yeah, they had a oh, scene about yeah, them oh, yeah. talking about the book of prophecies from, yeah. from Unchained. Okay, yeah, whatever. Like, okay, so Felicity and Pete know about it, whatever. I'm sure they knew about it. Like, there's a lot of Disney stuff yeah. tied in that. I, I guess they know. Whatever. That was, but yeah, that was added, right? Because I, I yeah, watched it through these cutscenes. Okay, yeah, I watched yeah, it was it added. recently with my friends. And it got to that scene and I was like, well, wait, did I just like turn it off before it got to this point I'm very confused. yeah yeah that's that that was new and all right so yeah now you've got like what five minutes of content you need to know <laughs> there you go Hooray! there you Yay. go that's, that's like almost double what you had before there you go oh you know what's you also you know what's also dumb about coded at the end spoilers when Mickey is like oh no Sora forgot everything but he still needs to find something out. So I'm gonna go back into the data and get Sora. And he goes and gets the Sora that's literally done nothing. Yeah. He's like, yeah, this is probably a good one to, to throw into some danger. Yeah. Why not go to the end and get the Sora that's like, already that knows everything. Fight, and yeah. then take that one. And he already knows that bad guys exist. I don't know. This is yeah. gameplay reasons. <laughs> yeah. Stop down, gameplay reasons. So... <laughs> My understanding of Coded is that, so originally, you know, it was a cell phone game released in Japan. Right. It was released episodically, you know, it was, it was the first one that was trying that thing, and, you know, okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah. My understanding is Nomura was not really involved in a lot of the writing <laughs> of this, and as such, it was. the people who were writing this were not really allowed to write too much of anything of consequence, because that would be problematic if it was consequential and then i guess later maybe namora was like all right like you write something though and <laughs> then they they just like wrote a couple of things that were like important and then that was it yay i hope well, like, well guess who, who directed it who was it wasn't it tabata oh was it tabata i, I, don't, I don't even know oh i don't think it was oh actually like I, I, well i could see tabata being like involved in that because that was like like, he was also working on a Guido 13 for mobile that never yeah. released on mobile. Oh, man. Too this many. all makes way more sense if Nomura was, like, not involved at the beginning, but then was involved in the second half, because the second half, I was like, oh, it's back to, I'm kind of getting invested. Oh, the story's The first half was just, oh, God. Yeah. So there's hard there's to get also, there. like, just a general, like, pacing oh, issue that tends right. to happen. Yeah, both, both Nomura and Tabata were directors yeah. on Coded. Yeah. Okay, okay, so that, that makes sense. Uh, so, yeah, yeah there, there tends to be like a general pacing issue that happens with Kingdom Hearts games where uh, something will happen at the beginning, and then almost <laughs> nothing happens during the middle, and then uh -huh. literally everything happens in like the last 20% of the game. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. That, that, that hit this game real hard. Yeah. Probably for usually, developer reasons, but like it usually happens anyway. Usually there's like cool new worlds to distract you, but then yeah. coded it's like literally I've done this yep. before but better. It's copy so, paste. It's, it's like playing reach in a memory all over again. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Which I was like, they already have one of these. Yeah. <laughs> and uh 
kind of a fun side note is that uh, a lot of those developers from Chain of Memories worked on this. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that's why they're very similar. Oh, great. oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Yeah, so yeah, a lot of the handheld games have a lot of similar developers. I think with uh, 3, 5, over 2, they, uh, they added HAND, H-A-N-D, which is, I, I guess, an acronym. Uh, that, that development team, they worked on Chocobo Racing games, and then they were like, all right, make King Hearts. Also, here's Jupiter. They made Chain of Memories work. Make it. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's why those games are like that. And then, like, Birth by Sleep and Dream Drop Distance, they're like normal Kingdom Hearts games. Oh, like all right. Better. I see. They also like did almost uh, every way. 358 over 2, too, as well. Yeah, yeah, 358 over 2. So, like, that that's why those <laughs> games are like that, and then all oh, the other games are like so that. makes so much more sense. <laughs> yes. Yeah. When you decide, as a company, we have to release Kingdom Hearts every year. No, no, we have to. Like, uh, sometimes no. rubber's gotta hit the road. And you gotta hire. <laughs> you gotta hire some teams you maybe don't like to work with, but at least they've made a game before in your franchise, so maybe they can handle I have an it. Idea. Maybe don't do that, and then just focus on the next actual oh, game, please. so we don't have to wait a gajillion years. Please, please always do that forever now. All right, yeah. so. So now let's get into some more uh, pointed questions. So, yes. since you're a, a voice actress, I want to get your uh, pr- professional opinion on this. Yes. What was your favorite vocal performance from Kingdom Hearts in its entirety? Who is it? I, I have, like, one favorite favorite and then, like, a couple runner-ups. Okay, so well, let's hear Who's the I'll favorite start with favorite? My- my favorite favorite is Riku's performance. Oh, David Gallagher. David Gallagher yes. is yeah. so good. Really good. Yeah, he's so good in all the games. Like, yeah. oh my gosh, he's just she's just really good. Yeah, he's he very very consistent. I would say like of, mm-hmm. of the main exactly. cast, the the most consistent. You know, I can't find a flaw in like his performances. And yeah, and he's so like subtle. But, but like yeah. not monotone, which is so like it's hard for some people to do that, and yeah. ugh, it's just really good. There's also just it. like, you know, this is kind of like, it's not fair that he gets this, but like he was old enough when Kingdom Hearts One came out that his voice didn't really change <laughs> since Kingdom Hearts One. <laughs> yeah. So that that helps. That was helpful. That yeah. Helps. <laughs> he wasn't enough of a child to, for that to, to harm him. So that, that that part was good. Yes. Yeah, I guess. Um, okay, so who are your runner ups? I have two runner ups. <clears throat> so, first of all, Zigbar. Oh, he's James. so good. Yeah, yeah James Patrick good. Stewart. Uh-huh. Uh, he's great. <laughs> he's so funny. I'm and already half saying, <laughs> I'm also a yeah. surfer. Yeah. He's Surf's like, up, he sounds so menacing, but also he's like hilarious and yeah. like. I know he's a bad guy, but I also, like, whenever he's talking, I'm like, yes, talk more. Yeah. yeah <laughs> uh, and then my last runner-up mm-hmm. is Axel. Quinn. Oh, yeah. Quinn yeah. Flynn. Gotta love him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's he's just so good. He has so many, like, you know, he's snarky, and then but he's also, in the sad scenes, he's so good. I, I just, those three are so great. I mean, Definitely. overall, I think... Most performances are pretty good, but those are my top. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And, I mean, obviously, you know, Kingdom Hearts, it's got a lot of big name voice actors, and, like, also, Big Elephant in the Room, all, like, most of the actual Disney voice actors. <laughs> like, that's yeah. that's a big deal. Like, wow. That's, that's yeah. amazing. so amazing. You know, it, it yeah. also, like, th- that really hit me recently because of the whole Toy Story trailer and how we, you know, got it originally we get it originally in Japanese and it's like, this is amazing, but something, something's missing, and it's, it's yeah. the English voices, like, the Japanese voices, you know, I'm, I'm sure they're you know, that's probably what the Japanese, and the, those are probably who they align with when they think about Toy Story, like, those voices are probably big for them, like, they, they might be like, I don't know, some sort of talent in Japan that we don't know about and like you know maybe they're great there but like 
as an American. <laughs> I'm spoiled. Yeah. I'm well, sp I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure all of them are the official Disney voices over there. Yeah, to definitely. them, it's like they all grew up with that. Exactly. So it's so the same reaction that we have to. And not only that, you, know, you got to consider Tom Hanks and you know Tim Allen. You know, big name celebrities that you know aren't easy to probably grab yeah. or something like this. I mean, that's hard to Johnny Depp. A lot of them are carrying nightly for their characters in Port Royal. Yeah. So I'm guessing, yeah. I'm guessing they have a budget with, with how much they can spend on voice actors, and I guess you know it's going to be very interesting to see what they're going to who gonna, who they're going to use for Woody and Buzz. Yeah. Characters. I mean, I would imagine they're going to use voice matches, but I also know that those actors really, like, love those characters, and I know that they're, like, doing more Toy Story movies, so maybe they'd be willing to do it. I don't know. So, at least... Hard to say. At least with Woody, it's probably not gonna be Tom Hanks, and the reason is... So, Tom Hanks has a brother. His name is Jim Hanks. Jim Hanks basically does everything that Woody does that isn't like a main number movie of Toy Story so he does all the toys uh, any toy that talks there's a snake in my boots any of those that you've ever heard uh, like any like special that you might see on like ABC except for the most recent ones uh, any special you might see on ABC, any video games, Disney Infinity, the Toy Story 3 game, all of those were Jim Hanks, his brother. Really? And he does Whoa. a real good John, uh, real good Tom Hanks, so it's like... That's you, you cool. Got, you got the best sound alike, because they're literally from the same genetic makeup. <laughs> you know, oh. can't, can't really ask for a better sound alike than your brother. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, for anything that's pretty, pretty much anything that's not, like, a main movie, it's Jim Hanks. Tim Allen's a little different, like, sometimes he'll do stuff, but, like, usually yeah. they just find, usually they just find a sound to like. I think, yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I would, I'm, like, 80% sure they'll use voice matches. Yeah. Yeah. As long as they're good voice matches, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really care. That <laughs> said, the tertiary characters like Ham and uh, the T-Rex guy and the little green army men, those are always the same guys. Always. Right. Yeah. So, the, so those are voice they, they always get that. Or, you know, they yeah. get the originals. It's just for Buzz and Woody, you know, the, the, the type yeah. of characters. That they're, they're, they're a bit tougher to get because they're, you know, big name actors. Or maybe they're just busy. Or both. <laughs> So, yeah, moving from that, an interesting question. If you could, uh, what character would you like to voice? Uh, specifically, if you had to replace an existing <laughs> voice actress or, or voice actor, you know, no, no, no uh, you know, this is an equal opportunity question. If you had to replace <laughs> somebody in the Kingdom Hearts voice cast, who would it be? Who would you want to voice? Well, not that I would want to take a job from anyone. Yeah. <laughs> Hypothetically, um, you know, they got in a, in, in a, a, a nail salon accident and they, they broke a nail. They're absolutely inconsolable. They can't go into the booth, you know, for this next week. And they got to record that character. And they, they come to you, you know, Erica, can you do me a solid and voice, voice my girl or guy? My nail's I not hard. I would have to say Kylie. Uh, yeah, no. when I was younger, I yeah. used to, like, practice voice matching her to, uh, like, videos, because I really liked her. <laughs> uh, and I used awesome. to think my voice was pretty close to hers. I think it's changed a little bit. But, yeah, I would I would love to be Kyrie. And then, other than that, any Disney princess that's already in there, I, I would just want to be any of them. Well, I would love for you to be Kyrie Lady Odd. It's me, Bonjour Morgana. Did you miss me? <laughs> yeah, thank you, Morgana. Wow, you, almost, you should talk You almost sound better. like Monokuma from <laughs> Talking Rampa. I'm, I'm Monokuma from Dancing Grandpa. I love that game. <laughs> Yay. Dang it, Grandpa. Dancing Grandpa. Wee. I'm the Dancing Grandpa. <clears throat> uh, I, I, I hate to admit, but yes, I've also done... Kyrie voice match. <laughs> really? Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Well, yes. I've, I've, okay, so I've, like done, yes. I've done every voice matching because, so back in the day when I didn't live in Japan, well, uh, this is a long story, but, I, you know, you always hear about Japan having great internet. Well, yeah, that's true if you don't live out in the middle of nowhere like I do and have ADSL still. So back in the day when we used to, when I used to live in America, we used to do live streams of the Kingdom Hearts games, and basically any time there was non-voice lines, I happily obliged to voice any of the characters, uh, whether they were in my range or not. <laughs> so yes, I, I I definitely used to give, you know, my shot at Kyrie. <clears throat> let's let's see if we can pull, pull, pull a little bit of Kyrie out. <clears throat> I'm channeling. I'm currently channeling. Uh, 11 or 12 year old Hayden Panettiere? I don't remember how old she was. <clears throat> don't ever forget, wherever you go, I'm always with you. <laughs> that was pretty good, actually. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my Kyrie. And my dream has always been that one day I will run into Hayden Panettiere in person and I'll just, I won't say anything to her prior to this. I'll just be like, Kyrie! Remember what you said before. I'm always with you, too. I'll come back to you. I promise. I know you will. Yes, exactly. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna look at her, and she's, she's just gonna know. And she's gonna spell <laughs> that exact line. No, no, well, wait, we did she? Hear her once. Wait, did Hayden Panettiere voice her in the first game, though? I yes. thought it was somebody else. It was Hayden oh, Panettiere. Was yeah, it oh, was her. Really? Yep. That was, oh. that was, uh, yeah, just, I think she had, like, just done that Disney movie, Remembering the Titans, so they, you know, she was kind of doing, kind of doing Disney life. stuff at the time, so, yeah, that was, that was, oh. that was really she went on and became a cheerleader, I guess, and then a Nashville thing, and now she's a mom. Oh, I was thinking in Chain of Memories when yeah, yeah, yeah. Allison Stoner did her. Yes, yes, like, yeah. Which, by the way, that's... I think that's now who it is. Maybe yeah, I'm forever. Yeah, sure that's who it is now. That, that, that's, that's who it was in uh, 0.2. So maybe yeah. she's Kyrie for good. I like her. She does a good. She does a great Kyrie. Yeah, me too. Actually, it was just weird because like it flip flops because like she came back for one line in Birth by Sleep. Yeah, which was like, very yeah. strange. Oh, oh yeah, and then she also came back for a line in Dream Drop Distance. But in that game, she didn't voice <laughs> Kyrie. She voiced Shion. Which was oh, really strange. Yeah. Because Allison Stoner, Allison Stoner usually does she on, but then, like, what? Allison Stoner was too busy, but Hayden Pantier wasn't for King of Hearts? And I was like, this is getting way too strange. Like, Yeah, they both played her like an equal amount. Yeah, it's uh, that is really bizarre, but that, is, that did. Yeah. Uh, fun, fun side note I have seen. Hayden Panettiere in person. When I, really? When I graduated high school, I went to, uh, yeah, I used to live in Florida, so I went to Disney World. They had this, uh, they had this big event for graduating high schools in the region, and the MC of the event was Hayden Panettiere, and that That's literally amazing. was, that was the only reason I went, was because was because she was going to be there. And I saw her for, like, what must have been, like, 15 seconds. And she, all she did was she got up, she introduced Katy Perry, and, like, in one <laughs> swift mo motion, left the stage. She, like, oh, like, wow. we're, we're, like, we're not talking, like, she came on stage and announced, like, she was walking across the stage, and here's, Hayden pa or here's uh, Katy Perry! Whatever, guys. I'm too busy. Bye. Yeah. Whoa, just, that's weird, but cool. Yeah, <laughs> she was amazingly gorgeous. Like so. Wow. That makes sense. Yeah, she's she's amazing. So that yeah. was that was my brush with greatness, and then <laughs> Katy Perry came on and sang "I Kissed the Girl in Hot and Cold." That, that, that'll that'll place it. That'll place it in the uh, in, in the timeline of, of of the world, I guess. So, yes. So, uh, yep, that was my brush of greatness. I did not have my moment, even though I planned to have my moment, and it didn't happen. It was pretty sad. Hey, Brandon. Hey, Brandon. If, if I can have my moments, you can have your moment. Yeah, one day. Aww. One day. It'll happen. <laughs> All right, moving on to our next question. So, if you could voice a new Kingdom Hearts character, what type of character would you like to play? Ah. Uh... Literally anyone. <laughs> um, I mean, ideally, 
ideally, I ideally. guess, I would want to be a Keyblader because then mm. I would get my own Keyblade and then I could tell someone to make me that Keyblade and then in real life, I could be like, look at my Keyblade! Yeah! And that would be... That would you take be it cool. everywhere with you. That's I, smart. I definitely would. I, like, at every convention, I'd be like, this is mine, actually, for real. So, everyone, back off. That's, uh, that sounds awesome. I mean, but really, I just, like, any anyone. Um... Any preference like, for good guy, bad guy? Not really. <laughs> I mean, I guess a good guy would be cool. Yeah. But I, I feel like in the world of Kingdom Hearts, I'd probably be more suited to play a good guy. Yeah. Because the, the villains are all, like, you know, older and, like... You could be like the next. Sounding. You could be the next Mark Z. <laughs> could you play somebody who's like uh, psychotic as like Lux Luxin? Yeah. Top of oh my god! I did voice her in one thing a long time ago when I was terrible at voice acting. Oh. Uh, uh, I want to see that. And I also voiced Navi in like a in like a, a radio play at one. I was bad at both of these things, but. <laughs> But yeah, I, I, I remember thinking that I was really good at Lexine because I thought I was like so good at being crazy, but then I wasn't and it was just bad. <laughs> Nowadays I'm starting to get cast as more villains. So maybe Maybe a villain. Oh my. I don't know. Yeah. Hopefully that villain but also has Enix, If you're listening to this, I'll add you girl. I'll yeah, you girl. Enix, please. Please. I actually I <laughs> that's interesting i guess to, to wrap this up i want to get your general feeling on where, where kingdom hearts 3 is at right now well this is obviously going to take me a while so thanks for watching i'm cut the video off here